in the market for trail running shorts well i was too and i made a major mistake a painful mistake that i don't want you to make so stick around <laughs> Hey, it's Jeff Harrell, host of the Big Ass Runner. Trail running shorts are an important part of your trail running port portfolio, attire, very important. In fact, I would recommend wearing shorts because if you don't, could get you in some trouble. And there's a major mistake I made and I thought I made the right decision. And when deciding on what kind of shorts to get, there's one early decision and that is, do I get shorts with built-in liners or no built-in liners? Well, I thought, hey, built-in liners, awesome. They're built in. I won't lose them. I'll know where they are in the wash. It's efficient. And I was wrong. Built-in liners are problematic for three major reasons. Reason number one, the shorts and the liners are sewn together, thus they move together. So if you're hauling through the woods, moving around, your shorts are moving a little bit with you, well, so are the liners, and that's causing chafing or chafing. I don't know how to say it exactly, but either way, it can be painful. Problem number two, quality of material of the liners seems to be substandard. I don't know what's going on with these shorts companies. Maybe it's because that's what they do, shorts, and they don't do liners. I'm gonna prove it to you. I have my first pair of trail running shorts. These are Patagonia built-in liners. I thought, awesome. These are a couple years old. Check this out. Hello, these are peekaboo. These are holes. Holy underwear. Not great for trail running, especially when you're trying to keep things tight. You know, you're moving around. Jingle Bell's great for the holidays. Not so good for trail running. Hey, if you're getting any value, even a little chuckle from this video, please like and subscribe and comment below. Well, problem number three is lack of options. Whatever liners come in your shorts is what you got. So if you're running in the cold and you wanna run in leggings, sorry, don't have that option. Can't wear leggings and liners, that would be awkward. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna cut them out? I don't think you're gonna do that. Shouldn't have to do that. That's a problem. You are stuck with one option. What if it's hot? What if it's dry? What if it's humid? What if you get onion crotch. We don't want that. We want to avoid that. So that's problem number three, lack of options. So you may say, hey Jeff, we get it, but tell us what we should be looking at. Well, here is my experience in my favorites that I just want to share with you. Let's start at the bottom. I am the league's director, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> Hilarious. First, liners, my favorite exoskin. They are fantastic. It's the material, and it's because this is what they do. They do liners, they do things that touch your body, liners and socks and underneath stuff, whatever you call that, fantastic. And they've got this technology called rapid copper. I don't understand it, I'm a marketer, but I don't know really what rapid copper is except amazing. It is anti-fungal, anti-odor, and great for the skin, and just flexes and is light and is amazing. You can see these, I forget what these are, but variety of links, logo, right here on the bottom, different colors. I have a variety of sizes, including the leggings. Same amazing material. So Exoskin would be my recommendation for liners. In my experience with shorts, there's lots of great shorts out there, but I love me some path projects because again, this is what they do. They do trail running and their shorts, I feel like is what they do best. This is the Graves version of their short. They've got different models and I love it for a variety of reasons. One, the material. This is beautiful. What is that velvet? It's a spiral yarn, light, flexible, moisture wicking, does not get heavy, does not tear. I've run against lots of branches and different things, cacti out in 
South Texas, great material, love that. Number two, the drawstring is on the outside. Love that because you can cinch it up. You're not trying to fish underneath, you know, when it has a drawstring on the inside, you're trying to suck up the muffin top and cinch it up. It breaks invariably, you're trying to fish it out. But to me, the best thing, well, I don't know, maybe not the best thing, I think that one of the best things are the pockets. Two zippered pockets in the front, and an amazing pocket in the back. Perfect size for your phone. I have an iPhone 7, I know that's old, I need to upgrade. But perfect for that or some gels. But what I love is they all zip so that you're not getting stuff flying out of there. If you wanna put some gels in the front, your keys, salt tablets, salt sticks, whatever you want, put it in there, zip it up, you're good to go. I actually wear these as much for running as I do running around town. Leisure wear, I think they call it, love it. So there you go, that's my experience that I just wanted to pass along with you for shorts and liners. If you enjoyed that, check out the Big Ass Runner Trail Running Podcast on all major platforms. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>